Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video, we will learn that how to append the data from multiple Excel worksheets uh, into one. So let's get started. I have opened an Excel file in Microsoft Excel just to give you an idea first that how our data looks like in multiple Excel worksheets. And then we will perform uh, this particular appending technique in Microsoft Power BI within the Power Query tool. So let's discuss the data first. So this is the Excel file uh, called append multiple worksheets and we have uh, five sheets at the bottom you can see. So these are monthly basis uh, worksheets from Jan to May. So if you can see this uh, January data, we have five columns. So there are uh, approximately total 100 stores and we have quarterly sales. So Q1, Q2, Q3 and then Q4. So total we have five columns. Okay. If we go to the February sheet, uh, again in the month of February we have 100 stores. That's the store ID. Then we have four quarter sales. But this time you can see one change as compared to the previous sheet. That is for the January. Uh, in the February we have Q4 at the first and then the last column is for the Q3. Now I have done this intentionally because I want to show you that if you have uh, not a proper arrangement of the column sequence in multiple sheets, even then Power Query is very smart to handle, uh, to append the data and to uh, combine all the data uh, very efficiently without having the trouble of uh, moving columns here and there manually. Okay, So I have intentionally put Q4 first and then Q3. Then in the March and April, it's similar with the pattern, numbers are changed. And in the month of May, I have also added one more column that is for the total. So we have store wise total for all the quarters. Now you can observe that this total column is not available in the other sheets like January, February, March and April, right? But it's uh, coming in only in the month of May. So what happens if we don't have the same pattern, if we have this kind of a thing that we have some extra columns in other sheets and we have we don't have uh, much sequence pattern, uh, what happens when we append uh, the data uh, together in Power Query? So Power Query also smartly handles this kind of a situation as well and I will give you a demonstration as well. Okay, uh, But remember that uh, the Power Query is a case sensitive language. One thing you need to make sure that all the headers which you see on different sheets should be have same spelling and also case sensitivity issue as well. So for example, if I have written Q3, Q is capital, but in February sheet, if I write in a small, it will make a trouble to append the data from multiple sheets in Power Query. So Power Query understands when you have the headers or the titles uh, with the same spelling in all the sheets, okay? and also need to consider the case sensitive issue as well right uh, it doesn't matter you have some extra columns in other sheets and don't have the extra columns in in other sheets it doesn't matter doesn't matter if you ha don't have a uh, sequence wise columns in all sheets it will handle automatically right so every sheet has 100 stores so this means that this is a total data of 500 rows and i will give you uh, that number when we append the data in Power BI within Power Query tool. So I hope you understood the data, how uh, this Excel file looks like with multiple sheets having some issues as well uh, regarding the extra columns in a sequence, but we will be able to append the data successfully in uh, Power Query. Now you can imagine that if you are an Excel user and you want to append the data all together in one sheet uh, from multiple Excel sheets, you need to run VBA codes or you need to copy and paste it manually, which takes a lot of time. But in Power Query within the Excel or if you use Power Query within the Power BI, uh, it's just a matter of seconds and it, it's handled smartly. So let's get start. I will uh, let me just uh, close this uh, Excel file here. We are in the Power BI. I will click on get data. So I will select the Excel workbook here. And I will go to my folder that is PQ10, appending data from multiple Excel worksheets. And I will select this workbook. So it will take few seconds to load and uh, a navigator window will open. Right, so we have the five sheets and we will check mark all the sheets we need to 
uh, bring data from all these five Excel sheets. And I will click on transform data to open up Power Query Editor. So it will take few seconds to open the Power Query Editor. Okay, so now you can see the Power Query Editor here. And what we trying to do is we are trying to append all these different sheets data into one. So on, on the home tab, you have the append queries. Just click on this small arrow. You will have two options. The first one is append query. If you go with this particular selection, what happens is all the other sheets data will merge in the March because we are actively on March. So we don't want to append the data in this current position. We want to append queries as new and I will click on this. So we have more than two tables. So we will click on three or more tables. March is already there because we will act, we, are, we are actively on the March uh, sheet. That's why March is already being selected. So we need to just uh, add the other month's sheets. So we have April, Fab, Jen, and May. So I have added. So this is tables to append. We need to append this uh, data from these five sheets. So I have selected here and click on OK. And that's it. So now you can see that we have store ID column, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and then total column. Now, total column is coming as a null, but I when I scroll down, you will see that the numbers are coming now because you saw that only the total column was in the month of May, if you can see here. So when, when we have appended the data, uh, because other sheets does not contain the total column, right? So in the appending, in the final output, there is a null because it's there, there was no total column in the other sheets. But when you scroll down and you come to the May data, it will show you the numbers, right? One more thing we observed that uh, in the February data, Q4 uh, was the fourth column and Q3 is the fifth column. So we have changed the positioning. So for example, if I want to verify that store one in the month of February within Q3 is 74. And if I go to my append one data, and if I scroll down to uh, a little bit, after 100 stores, we have, uh, okay, so after 100 store, we have again store one, which is uh, basically the February data, right? And you can see that in the Q3 column, we have this that 74. So that's how smartly Power Query is that uh, if the sequence of the columns are not there, set in the different sheets, it automatically fetches according to the column and it recognizes uh, according to the column headers. So you don't need to worry about that. But imagine if you are doing this kind of things in Excel, uh, you need to take care about everything which uh, comes uh, differently. Uh, with the help of formulas or VBAs or manual, right? But in Power BI, the Power, Power Query handles it very smartly, okay? So this is a small technique. You can just rename this as well. So just right click, click on rename, and you can give it a name as consolidate appended data with or consolidated data, appended data. Once you are done, you can just click on close and apply. It will uh, move to the Power BI and then you can start creating your dashboards or reports or whatever you like. Okay, thank you.